morning everyone my name is shiva krishna i am from institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad prime so today we are going to discuss about the two degrees of freedom which is a course under this aerospace structural dynamics so we are already completed first module so this is the second module so in this two degrees of freedom we are going to learn it. today we are going to learn about the topics of equation of motion for the forced vibration and free vibration analysis of an undamped systems so we have already seen about the previous model which is covered under what is been by vibrations what is the nature of vibration and how many types of vibrations are there and how to analyze by using the different methods like uh, Lap laplace analysis as well as transformation analysis and f equals to ma in newton's law analysis so we have been already seen about this damper and damper systems also in the previous module so here today we are going to discuss about the equation of motion for the forced vibrations so so here as per the introduction to this so system that required to be two independent coordinates describe their motion of is called as a two degrees of freedom so here previously we have seen as a one degrees of freedom like previously we have seen only one degree of freedom means there is a only one axis it can able to move like in the x axis or only for this one day one dimension and y axis we can able to call this a two dimension okay so in this we have seen about this multi degrees of freedom there is a two degrees of freedom we can able to see right so one axis two axis x axis and y axis if it is moves into this any freedom area so it is called as a two degrees of freedom so here number of degrees of system of the freedom we can able to say it as number of masses number of masses in the system like one two it is here okay number of masses into the system multiplied number of positional possible types of movement possible types of movements of motion into this each mass so we can able to expect here there is a one mass and two mass it can able to move from one distance here and second distance here so it is a one degree you can able to say and it is a two degree which is in the same motion but we are have which is in the same direction but we are having the two different positions right so position 1 and position 2 so we can able to say that it is in the x direction motion only x direction motion only but we are having the it mass 1 and mass 2 there is saying that number of masses in the system into number of possible of motions in each mass so we can able to say there is a two masses and two different different motions into this particular system of freedom okay you know so we are again having the another motion we are having the which is one of the pendulum is suspended here from this mass on this piston inside this spring okay there is a piston which is connected by using of spring mass m is connected to this pendulum right which is having the x direction movement we can able to say here x direction one dimension here and another dimension it can able to move towards the two and four there is a two dimension which is x and y so we are having the two possible ways of this particular movement so we can able to say there is a two degrees of freedom into this particular examples so here it is the example one is having the only single axis as well as first is a single axis and two axes it is that x and y here here it is the only x is there here it is x and y motions are there so we can able to capture two motions into this any examples like in this x axis two motions and in this x axis one motion and y axis is another motion so we can able to say that is a two degrees of freedom into this as a examples get it right so here there is a two equations for the two degrees of freedom each one having the mass precisely for each degrees of freedom and they are generally in the form of couple differential equations that is each equation involves the coordinate systems so we are already seen that previously which is comes under with the differential equations as you know there is a distance if you say there is x dx and dx square by dt we are already said that there is a distance velocity acceleration right these are all 
comes under differential equation differential couple of differential equations in harmonic motion in harmonic motion harmonic solutions assume for each coordinate of the system each coordinate of this equation need to be frequency analysis frequency equation that gives two natural frequencies of the systems so previously we are having the one motion one completely we are having one degrees of freedom only so we are having the one natural frequency right here we are having the natural frequency is 2 because we are having the one in this and second in this as a but linearly as well as here is another one two so here it is one and two so there is always as the motion is required as the motions are there then as the natural frequencies will be involved in this so if the harmonic solution will be assumed that each coordinate each coordinate is having the same one natural frequency so equation of motion lead to be frequency equation that gives a two natural natural systems right natural frequency will be going to give so into this if the given visible situa situation as a suitable initiation exaggeration so system vibrate as a one of these natural frequencies during the free vibrations one of the natural frequencies so one of the system will be going to be moving to this as a one of these natural frequencies and as an initial initial excitation like first which will be involved with this as a free vibration as a one natural frequency during the vibration of the one other one natural frequency amplitude of this two two degrees of freedom coordinates are related to the specific manner of the configuration called as a normal mode principal mode and nat or natural mode of vibration so we can able to say that is a called as a natural mode or principal mode or else we can able to call it as natural vibration okay natural mode of vibration thus two degrees of freedom having the two normal modes right two degrees system having the two normal modes remember always there is a two degrees of freedom having the two natural modes right and two degrees of freedom has the two natural modes of the vibration corresponding to the two natural frequencies I always say that there is a each motion having the one of the natural frequency right previously we have seen the only one dimension so there is a only one natural frequency has been occurred so here there is a two vibrations are there like a two systems having different different vibrations like in the x-axis as in the y-axis if we say there is a pendulum mass suspender right so here it is the two natural frequencies are if the given arbitrary initial excitation initial excitation if it is given that resulting from the vibration has been superpositioned as a two natural modes of the vibration so here it is a two, two natural forces will be going to be given right however if the system vibrate under the action of an excitation harmonic force so we already said that the excitation, what is meant by excitation? If we are having the excitation, increasing of this well, increasing of this particular frequency is excitation we call as right. So resulting force by harmonic vibration takes place in the frequency of applied forces. So here it is a one of these as an introduction component, right? As evidence of these forces, as the evidence of these forces from the system as shown in the figure, the configuration of system can be specified by the set of independent coordinates as a length angle and some of the other physical parameters any such coordinates called as a generalized coordinates okay this is the one generalized coordinates this is the generalized coordinate this is the generalized coordinate and this is the one generalized coordinates so each system has a suspended with the independent coordinate system as length angle and some of the other physical parameters here is the parameters one parameter one here is the parameter one this is the parameter one these are all masses parameter right there is a physical parameters although equations of motion can be two degrees of freedom which is system can generally coupled so that each equation involved with the all coordinates which in equation will be which involved with the all coordinates previously we have seen only one coordinate only like one coordinate only now we need to go to this multiple coordinates like x and y x and y x and y for the each and every system each and every system we need to go for this each coordinate as well as quad always system with the two degrees of freedom right so it will be always possible for the find particular coordinates such that each equation of motion contains only one coordinate each equation motion con contains is the one coordinate into this and that's we look coupled can be solved independently in, in such other okay in such 
particular systems we can able to solve with this independently we can able to solve it and such set of coordinates which is leads to be uncoupled system equation of motion is called as a principal coordinates so principal coordinates will be represented by using of these two all coordinate summation we can able to say all the coordinate summation which are independent equations so coming to the equation of motion of the force vibration you can see there is a picture there is a masses and dash damper system and spring forces system are there 1 2 3 is their springs and 1 2 3 as a dash parts are there 1 2 masses are there and there is a forces has been forces has been set on this mass 1 the force 2 has been set on this mass 2 right and it has been traveled towards the x distance with the time okay and another one with the force 2 which is also traveled into this x2 distance to with the time 2 so in this we are going to be consider as a viscously damped two degrees of freedom of a spring mass system as shown in the figure so it is viscously damped like it is under the complete viscous area viscous area which is like in the piston area which is under the piston area okay piston area we can able to say that Okay, the motion of the system completely described as the coordinates of system x1, x2 of t, and which defines the position of these masses of one and two masses at this any time. Okay, t from the respective equation of positions. So here we need to be divide under this as a free body diagram. Free body diagram from this. So here it is a mass one we have been taken here. so in this mass one what are all the forces acting on this so into this there is a k force acting and c force acting which is having the as a x distance is moving towards x direction so here we are need to be consider as a k is going to be retain there is a vertical shape okay going to be take as a vertical shape so it is said that k into x1 and c1 into x double x dot one so here This is x is moving, x is moving here in the x direction of t. So we are having the distance here, and c dash part is with the acceleration. Okay, distance with the a distance with the k and acceleration with this as c dot. Into this, it's over. And again, there is a k two forces acting on the left side. K two forces acting on the left side. But here there is a force we need to be taken as a force we have been taken as x two minus of x one. because this much forces only acting on this left side of this body right left side of the body it is acting only x2 minus x1 only acting and as is considered as a c2 we are also same thing having here c2 having the x2 minus x1 into this left side so this will be the right side of this second mass 2 okay this will be the second times times of this mass 2 which is spring under the tension of x1 and spring under the tension of x2 minus x1 okay and spring under the mass of compression of this x2 so here it is a compression will be going to be taken place as a here okay in this there is a force is going to be coupled towards here okay so force is going to be coupled towards here it is a mass is moving here the mass is moving here but it's completely against towards here so i think this side this side is there so x3 is not compression it will be tension it is under the tension forces so here it is the x3 into k3 into x2 and c3 into x dot 2 okay here it is the tension going to be happen into this because there is a c force is acting over towards this wall and here also having the k3 force it is acting towards her so here it is the called as a completely free body diagram from this we need to go for this equation of motion remember each and every term is important into this particular free body diagram okay from this only we need to be go for this equation of motion how to solve this equation of motion each one we need to be consider as a coupled and we need to go for the independent coordinates as per previous slide we have been seen right so here we need to go to this equation once again so under the external forces of x f1 and f2 f1 and f2 here it is external forces on the masses of m1 and m2 respectively the free body diagram of the masses as shown in the figure so previously also we have been seen there is a free body completely we have been seen and 
the application of newton's law in the second motion okay each masses gives the equation of motion so each masses will be going to given as here is the m1 into x double dot here is the m1 into x double dot we have been taken there is a acceleration is going to be acting okay m into x1 and here is the c2 plus c1 plus c2 which is under this c1 plus c2 here for the first body only for the first body only the force is acting on this if the force one is going to be acting all this one without having the force two without having the force two here so what are all the possibility of motion is going to be generated with this only f1 okay with this only f1 it will be going to be happens into this mass acceleration will be going to happen and c1 plus c2 of x this uh, velocity will be going to happen c1 and c2 into this velocity will be going to be happen and minus of c2 of x2 here it is the towards the it will be negative forces will be going to come because there is a forces will be generating towards the right side here right side here so it will be minus of c2 of x2 and k1 plus k2 here it is a k1 plus k2 will be going to be added into this x distance here it is a k1 plus k2 acceleration will, will be going to happen into this x distance and minus of k2 of x2 here it is a negative small negative will be going to be happen into this as a f1 force result and same as this for the m2 in this now we are going to consider only f2 only not in this f1 okay what if the forces f2 is there what if the only forces f2 is there and what will be going to be generated into this masses into this m2 will be going to be accelerated there is a mass 2 will be going to be accelerated here as we have seen there is a m2 x2 and in this c2 will be going to be lag here so here c2 will be going to be as lag because there is a negative forces will be going to be happen here c2 into velocity will be going to be happen okay because there is a small moment will be going to be happen and c2 plus c3 into this c2 plus c3 as a velocity will be going to be happen okay as a c2 plus c3 velocity will be going to be happen and k2 of k2 into x1 here is a k2 is there right k2 is there into this there is a negative again will be going to happen see both sides into this negative negative will be going to happen as a c1 x1 which is the velocities will be going to happen taken right and k2 plus k3 of x k2 of k2 plus k3 we are having k2 plus k3 we are having x2 okay which is distance will be going to be happen with this only force 2 so now we are going to be at what are the forces we have been given so what are the forces we have been given which is under this force 1 and force 2 so what if the forces 1 is neglected what if the forces 2 has been neglected we have been seeing into this f1 f2 equation which is 2 degrees of freedom okay 2 degrees of freedom we have been seeing okay into this now equation of motion for the force vibration we can be seen that there is a first equation of contains the terms involving x2 you can check there is a x2 is there right here it is the x2 is there x2 is there where is this here here it is the x2 so which will be whereas second equation of motion contains the involving of x, x1 so here it is the x1 and here it is the another one x1 so you can check this there is a equation have involved with this as a first equation involved sorry first equation equation having the one with this x2 involvation okay force 2 equation 1 and equation 2 in this there is a alternatively we can able to check there is a into this f2 involved into this f1 is involved into this you can check this uh, two equations okay and hence the representative system coupled in second order differential equation so it is a 2d differential order equation tdoe okay represent two degrees of freedom equation we can therefore expect there is a motion of that one m1 will be influenced with this motion of m2 there is a m1 if we are applied m1 is if is applied any forces it can able to operate this f2 m2 again there is the same thing we can able to move if there is a f2 is moving f2 is creating some disturbance into this mass 2 that can able to affect this m1 also because it is jointed together because it is jointed together in between this k2 and c2 it is jointed between k2 and c2 right so you can check there is a it can be able to express this motion we can able to movement can be able to happen movement able to have can be happened by using of this f1 f2 into both sides 
if there is a single force is applied in the M1, it can able to move this M2 also. The same thing if we are applied on this M2, there is a M1 also can be affected. There is a called as a vibration forces and this is multiple de de 2 degrees of freedom. Right? 2 degrees of equation we can able to see there is a. There is a called as coupled equation also. There is a called as coupled 2 coupled second order differential equation. So equation can be rewrite as it is in this previously. So here it is that we can able to generalized form we can able to write. In the generalized form we can able to write in the terms of m into acceleration dot m into acceleration dot into the xt and c into velocity dot c into velocity of t and k into distance we can able to write it as a ft. Okay. So m of x double dot arrow okay m bar of double dot t and c into x dot x dot bar we can able to write it and k into x of t we can able to write it as f of t right we can able to say there is a mvs mck already we seen there is a mass damping and stiffness matrices we can able to write and represented representatively as a x of t x of t is nothing but velocity we can able to say there is a velocity in distances with the forces called as a distance sorry displacement and forces vectors respectively which is given as by the matrices form so we already know that there is a mass is having the two sides mass is having the two sides so we can able to write it in mass one mass two into these matrices so c as we can able to say there is a here there is a c is only involved in this so we can able to write it as in this c1 plus here it is a one side sorry we can able to write it as c1 plus c2 and c2 plus c3 so if we combine together c1 plus c2 it will be c2 c2 will be going to be combined together again there is a k2 k k2 will be going to be combined together so it will be involved like this okay involved like this we can able to complete like completely we can able to write it as in terms of matrices form as a mass and damping as well as stiffness functions into this matrices form so what about this x bar what about this x bar dot x bar we can able to write it in terms of x1 and x2 x1 x2 of forces with the times okay with the times f of t x of t and x of 2 x2 of t which is under the time function okay which is under the time function f force also we can able to write in terms of f1 and f2 which is under the time function which is under the time function we can put to say right so we have been seen how to use a matrices form into this which is under the matrices form equation can be written into, the, into this matrices form just we are taking place into the and substitute substitute all these things into this matrices form again okay equation of the motion can be we can able to write in terms of mck which is under 2 by 2 matrices 2 by 2 matrices which is element known as masses damping and coefficient stiffness of this respectively so we can able to write it further as a matrices can be symmetrically so we can able to write it as a m transformation we can able to write it as mt and c transformation called as a c and k transformation called as a k matrices so we can able to write it as a matrices inverse also we can able to write it as the same concept same going to be happen like in this so previously we have been already seen there is a what is mean by here it is a cmk right previously we have already seen that what is mck so if we involve and we can able to write it as transformation also we can able to expect the same equation of motion into this particular form right so free vibration analysis and damper system as a further vibration of analysis system as shown in the figure we said f1 and f2 f1 f2 times as a zero in this there is a times is there right within the first second and second second third second fourth second like this seconds in inflations we are taking as a zero so here the forces only once only observed or else there is a force will be kept like that there is no moment will be going to be happen into this so in this the damping is disagreed then c1 c2 c3s will be going to be zero there is a force will be there but there is no moment will be going to be generated at this particular particular point of there is a free vibration analysis under damping system and damper systems so in this c1 c2 c3 will be zero and the equation of motion will be going to reduce as this is a zeros because there is no forces occurred into this there is no forces occurred into this there is a kept as an ideal there is a kept as an ideal so we can able to analysis under this particular equation as a undamped system so into this we are 
Interestingly, knowing as is the M1 and M2 as a oscillatingly harmonically with the same frequency and phase angle, but there is a difference amplitudes. So into this M1 and M2 having the same phases. We are having harmonically which is oscillating with the same phase and same phase and angle, but the different amplitudes. So amplitude one and amplitude two, which is having the high and low. Okay, which is high. And low like this we can able to say there is a because of the distance because of the distance and force we can able to say there is a two amplitude with this different phase will be going to happen assuming that there is a possible of how have harmonic motion of m1 and m2 and same frequency of w and mu and phase is angular of pi and we take the solution as as follows here so here it is the m1 into x double dot of t plus k1 plus k2 of x minus k2 x2 of t equation 0. So we can able to write it in terms of m1 and x double dot of t and k2 x, x1 into t plus k2 plus k3 of x2 of t we can able to write it in terms of 0. Right. So we can able to as per this we can able to write it in terms of x1 into this x1 of t and x2 of t we can able to write in terms of same phase like a mu and pi tetas, mu t and pi t is we can able to involve with this. So if we are involved as a x1 and x2, x1, x2 of t, we can able to replace with this as a phase angle and frequency. Phase angle and frequencies, if we replace it with this, cos of omega t, x1 into cos of omega t plus pi and x2 into cos of omega t into plus pi will be going to be happen where we can able to write in as a constant that donates as the maximum amplitude of this x1 and x2 and a pi okay that is a constant and maximum phase constant and maximum phase will be going to be taken into this substituting above these two equation as the solution of two we can have this as this as a equation here okay equation here so we can able to write rewriting about this and since the above equation must be satisfied all the values of t then terms between taken as a brackets of zeros and it will be equal to this minus one minus m into omega square plus k1 plus k2 of x minus k2 into x2 equals to 0 which is under the equation we can able to write it and rewrite all these things we can able to see into this particular phases right which will be representing two simultaneous homogeneous al algebraic equation into this unknown values of this x1 and x2s it can be seen that there is a above equation we can able to satisfy this trivial solution trivial solution of x1 x2 equals to 0 which will be complex there is no vibrations there is no vibration because there is a frequency we can able to say there is a zero forces we have been taken as zero right forces we taken as zero so here there is no non-trivial solution of x1 x2 determining that coefficient of x1 x2 must be zeros so here it is the x1 and x2 we have been taken zeros here it is forces we have been taken as zero there is an undamping system so there is no damping system there is no C damping system where forces have been taken into this previously so we can able to write as a undamped system as a debt of this previously we have been taken the matrices form so we have been taken this matrices form so we can able to write it in the mass one and mass two mass one into omega square minus mass one into omega square plus k1 plus k2 and second element as minus k2 and third one by two we can able to write this minus k2 and again mass 2 square mass 2 omega square plus k2 plus k3 equals to 0. So we can able to rewrite as a ad and bc ad and bc if we have multiplied together if we have multiplied together we can able to write it in terms of m1 m2 of omega to the power of 4 m1 m2 of omega 2 and omega to the power of 4 and minus of flower brackets of in this k1 plus k2 k1 plus k2 m2 we can able to write it in terms of minus m2 Okay, and here it is the k1 plus k2, k3, k1, k2 plus k3 into m1. So here it is a k1 plus k2 of m2 once and k2 plus k3 we can able to write this in m2 and m1. So we are having separate separate bodies here. So we can able to say there is only two is involved with this both sides. Two is involved with the both sides. So we can able to write it in terms of that. Okay, and plus k1 plus k2 plus multiplication of k2 plus k3 minus k square of 2 k square of 2 we can able to write it as in terms of call this is called as frequency equation or characteristic equation 
frequency equation or characteristic equation. If we say there is a debt, we can able to write in terms of AD minus BC. If you are taking the characteristic, characteristic equation, will be going to happen. This equation is the frequency of this characteristic values of solutions. Okay, the roots of this above equation we can able to write in terms of roots. We can able to write in terms of by using of minus b into under root of plus or minus minus b into minus two ab by two ac. By using of this equation, by using of this equation, roots we can able to form, and by using of this equation we can able to form to this. Okay. We can able to say there is a positive and negative. Positive and negative. We can able to write in terms of okay. So which will be forms into this as a equation, and we can able to have this as a x one and x two. X one, x two. It can be possible that we can able to give the non-trivial harmonic solution as a x one of cos omega t into phi, and x two we can able to write it as x two of cos omega t into phi. Okay, when Omega equals to omega one. Omega equals to omega two. We can able to write it, rewrite it as is. Previous equation we can able to write it as a omega one and omega two squares. Omega one and omega two squares. We can able to write and given to this form. Okay. So today we are going to see about this. Particularly we can able to stop it here today. Okay. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.